What's up guys, this is David from How To Ghost, and today I'm going to show you how to install Ghost on Ubuntu. And so this should work for version 12, 13, 14, any semi-recent version. So I have a brand new, just blank install right here, just from the droplet on DigitalOcean. I'm going to walk through the steps we have on how to install Ghost. So the first thing you need to do, if it's a new server, then you should do the apt-get update and upgrade. If it's not and you're running other stuff, then you should probably be wary of that and only update what you need to so you don't break other things. Um, I already went ahead and did these so you don't need to watch a server update. But the first thing you need to do is if you don't already have it installed, you need to install just a couple packages like zip and wget and stuff like that that, that we're going to need to install Ghost. So let's go ahead and put that in, install those programs. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install Node. So what we need to do is first grab the source for Node. And then what we're gonna do is do the same apt-get install Node. So this is just grabbing like where Node is and everything, so when we install it, it'll know, know where to go look. It's taking a little longer than I thought. All right. So now, apt-get install node. This is going to go install node, all the dependency it needs, stuff like that. All right, so we got node in here. So you can see 10.4.2, which is fine. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to create the directory for Ghost, and then we're going to install Ghost in the directory. Now, normally what you want to do is put ghost in var www, just because that's a typical place for ghost to be. So we're going to do sudo make directory. The dash p means make any directories. Like if var didn't exist, it'd make var2. So make that directory. And then we're going to cd into that directory, var www. And then we're going to go ahead and download the latest ghost. So this is the URL for downloading the latest ghost. wget means go download the zip. That's a program that we just installed. Just going to download the latest ghost. And then we're going to sudo unzip. Dash D means directory. So we're going to unzip it into, the, into a new ghost directory. So now you can see we have the ghost directory here. So we're going to cd into the ghost directory. And then we're going to install it. So sudo npm install production. The reason we're having to use sudo for all this is because everything is going to be owned by root for now, and we're going to change all that uh, upcoming shortly. So any warns you get, usually that's OK. Um, any errors you get are a problem. But usually all these warns, that's, uh, that's pretty normal. All right, so npm install just finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the config so it can be viewed from any IP rather than just local. For right now, uh, we need to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the example config and make the regular config. And then we're going to vi into the config. And then you can see here's production. So we want to change the host to zero 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 and URL you want to change this URL to what your URL is going to be for us currently that is going to be this IP address and then go ahead and if you're not familiar with VI colon WQ is to quit so now we change the config and now we need to create the ghost user. So we're going to add a new user, new Unix password. So type in a password for your ghost user. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the owner of the entire folder structure to ghost. So right now, you can see the owner is all root. 
So what we want to do is change that to ghost so the ghost user is running it and not root. You do that for security reasons because if someone hacks the, cert the ghost blog, you don't want them to have access to the whole server. So now we're going to change into the ghost user. So the ghost user is the one running the next commands. We're going to move back into the ghost directory because it jumps you back out to the home directory of the ghost user. And then we're going to start ghost. So npm start production. So it's creating the blank database right now. And so now if we go to our URL, oops, we need to add the port. And you can see it goes up and running. Now, the next step to do is we want to proxy the port from 2368 to the root, because right now the actual URL isn't going to work. It's going to have to have this IP at the end. So to do that, we want to proxy from port 80 to 2368 using Nginx. So Nginx is the preferred one. You can do it via Apache. If you're starting a new server, it's definitely better and easier to use Nginx. So we're going to go ahead and on the server, we're going to stop ghost. So control C stops. And then we're going to back out of the ghost user. So we're back to the root user. And then we're going to install Nginx. All right, so now that, that the install is done, we're going to move into the etc. Nginx sites enabled folder. So we're going to cd into the sites enabled folder. See, there's just the default here. And then we want to create a new um, conf file with you know your domain.conf or ghost.conf or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and do sudo vi ghost.conf and then here's an example of what you want the nginx configuration to be so essentially it's going to be listening on the root port which like the main domain port which is port 80 and then the server name is going to be your url and then location slash so for everything we're going to proxy all of the traffic to 2368 so i'm just going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to paste this into here server name Go ahead and change. So I'm just going to insert our IP. Now this would be like, you know, how to ghost.com or whatever you want it to be. And that should be it for that conf. So save and quit, colon WQ. And then now we want to remove all of the default files because it's going to have a bunch of defaults in there for you to copy and paste from. So let's go ahead and let's remove all those. So just do them one at a time. All right, remove all three. Okay, that one didn't exist. So now we want to restart the Nginx service. All right, so now Nginx has restarted and it's loaded its new configs. So let's go ahead and let's see. Hmm, bad gateway. Ghost.conf. Okay, I'm back. So I was stupid and completely forgot that Ghost wasn't running. So that's why I was getting this gateway error. <laughs> so we have all the config right. So let's go ahead and let's go back and let's start ghost. So cd var ww ghost and then npm start production. So now we're starting ghost back up again so it's actually running. Now let's refresh and we're good to go. So that's why we're getting the 502 error because nginx was proxying to nothing because there was nothing running because I had stopped ghost. So anyway, that's how you can install and get ghost set up. There is one other thing you can do, and that's to keep Ghost running forever. 
you can do that either using a service or you can do that uh, using PM2. We use PM2 for all of our uh, installs just because that's something we really like. There's instructions right here at the bottom of the install page. I'll also link to that in the description. You can go ahead and go through the PM2 instructions and get it all running so it'll run forever even after it restarts of the server. And that's all we got for today. Good luck installing Ghost on Ubuntu and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.